Okay, and then we electrostatic pummeler. Get him to 1026, 2052. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we pretty much could do this infinitely. Hello everybody, my name is Brosef or Joseph and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is starting a brand new series called Janky Dreams. And in the series, we are going to put together all the jankiest dreams, all the jankiest thoughts of decks that I have and making it a reality. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is creating an absolutely ginormous Drizzt. Drizzt has double strike and has an ability that says whenever a creature dies, if it had power greater than Drizzt's power, put a number of 1-1 counters on Drizzt equal to the difference. And in today's video, we're going to be breaking this ability. So our plan is to take Electrostatic Pummeler, which has an ability that says pay three energy counters, and Electrostatic Pummeler gets plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is its power. We're going to be making him absolutely ginormous, and then we're going to kill him with either 10 the Pests or Fling. And then, since we have Drizzt on the battlefield, Drizzt is going to get a number of 1-1 one, one counters equal to the difference of Electrostatic Pummeler's power. So that's pretty much it. There will be no deck review at the end of this video. So just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. And of course, wish me luck. All right, up against Dulu. And... It's a decent hand. We'll keep it Mountain into Rootbound Craig and Season of Growth. So not too bad. We just need to make sure we're drawing into, you know, Pummelers and all our smaller mana creatures. Just pretty sick sleeves. I like it a lot. Alright, a little bit more mana. You don't mind. Let's just stop drawing into it. I really want to tend the pest to work out in this deck. Okay, sweet. So our electrostatic. They are playing blue, which is a little scary. Just because they can counter it, but might as well try. Sweet. So it resolves and we get a scry, we get our drizzit. Awesome, so it's working out really nicely. All we need is just our white mana now, and and probably Hydra's Growth, or maybe like a Vivian's Arc Bow, or a Vivian in general. That is such a cool island uh, card art, I love it. Alright, what, what dungeon are they going to go down? So just dwarves mine. Cool combat, swing in. And pass the turn. Alrighty, white mana, here we go. Here we go, white mana. Garrick, nice. Garuk. I am predator, you are prey. Your fate. Nice, thank you. <laughs> Sweet. They're a stampede of war. Okay, awesome. Another land that's not white mana though. So we could primal might for four and then make him an eight and kill Garrick. Or we just primal might for four. Yeah. So four. Pummeler, so it's zero. Cool, draw a card of a season of growth, and we get Hydra's growth. Perfect. So combat, swing into Garrick, and pass the turn. So we definitely could have gone the face there, just don't feel like it was really worth it to get 10 damage in. Plus, we want to get the Drizzt combo off, I mean. <laughs> I think that's definitely much more fun in my eyes. Okay, my turn. Tons of mana up here, which worries me. So we can... We can't do both, unless we get land, but we can't draw. We have so much mana up. Let's go Renegade. Yeah, cool. So they did probably have a counter spell here. 
And almost no doubt Hydra's growth would have gotten countered. Okay. Not a big deal. Let that resolve. And we'll just swing in for one. Sweet, kind of sweet. I'm just hoping that they don't leave up mana again next turn. I mean, we need white mana to get this Drizzt down. Okay, carry it in. Play something else. I know you wanna. Ah, they won't. Ah, oh, and we have Arc Bow, so we could try and. It's almost better to have Arc Bow down than it is to have Hydra's Growth. Simply because we put it onto the battlefield. So let's go Hydra's Growth first. Okay, so we get to draw a card anyways, even if it gets countered. Yep, so countered, cool. Let that resolve, draw a card, and then we'll arc bow. And we get our white mana, cool. So arc bow, sweet, sweet. So no other counter spells. And pass the turn. At least no other like non-creature counter spells, unless they just drew, drew into one. Well, probably didn't have the mana for it either. So. Vivian's Arcbow allows us to find a free Drizzt, well, free, and put it onto the battlefield, or just any other energy creature. So I think what we do is attune with Aether and then pass a turn. Okay, so yeah, that resolves. They definitely have another counter spell. Grab another mountain, and pass a turn. Okay, so they definitely had another counter spell. Okay, so on their end step, arc bow for five, discard. Actually, we get an arc bow for six. So let's arc bow for six. Sweet and discard. We need 10 to pass. Let's discard Pima. Just in case we don't drown to a Drizzt. Cool. So Renegade enters the battlefield. They get four counter, uh, four energy counters, and then we scry. They can't counter it because it enters the battlefield not through being cast. So pretty sweet. Cool, scry one, definitely throwing that to the bottom. And then pass to our turn. Alright, Aether Hub. And we could try to cast Drizzt. Dragon Turtle. Fights up to one target creature. During their next untapped steps. That's fine. They're probably gonna do electrostatic polar. We'll just... Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, is it both of us? Yeah. 
So we'll play Drizzit. Yeah, no counter spell. We get a scry. Another pummeler's decent. We need Hydra's growth though. <laughs> we throw another pummeler to the bottom. And with that we will pass a turn. So we're looking pretty solid here. Hundred and seven parts. Lauren's Epiphany, nice. Alright, so we will arc bow and discard to the pass, or do we? Nah, that's not worth it. We probably would miss. Mind Flare. Yeah, and they take the Drizzit. We could tend the pest. Yeah, we're going to tend the pest to Drizzit. And then... Counterspell? It's already dead, so they can't... They can't get the Drizzit. Cool, so then we get a scry three. That's why Tend the Pest works so nicely with this deck, you know. And there's our Hydra's Grove. Perfect. Perfection. Awesome. And then whatever is in their hand, I feel like is either a flash or some sort of counter spell. Yep, attackers. We have a ton of chump blockers. And my turn, perfect. So we're probably gonna have to wait to play Hydra's Growth. Just so it doesn't get countered. Because it's kind of a big deal. So we're probably gonna Arc Bow. Either now or next turn. Let's just pass and do it next turn. Now we have a bunch of blockers and we can get this combo off. I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited to see how big we can get our Drizzit. We do need a Fling uh, or a Tend the Pass, which we just used. But it's better than giving them a Drizzit. Swinging in. It's only three damage, so. But we're still gonna block, just in case they have something to make him huge. So, gain a life. Arc bow for one, two, three, four, five, six. We can't arc bow though, we need Hydra Growth. Hydra's Growth. Is it better to get a Drizzit than to Hydra's Growth? No. So we'll cancel. Well, we get a second one perfect, so that solves all our problems. And if they don't have a counter spell, then Dragon Turtle. So that'll probably kill our Pummeler. They're gonna do Renegade again. doesn't make any sense to me yeah I just don't think they see why that's not really the best so double hydra growth cool mountain and pass a turn this is working out great yep they get a land I really hope they don't concede 
because we're actually really far ahead right now and we're going to be super far ahead after after they pass turn all right so my turn cool double double goes up to a nine nine and we get our fling perfect so we're gonna vivian's arc bow now because if we vivian's arc bow and get into a drizzit then we can do everything we want right now so so arc bow for five one two three four five or is it better to keep up the pima Because Pima into like this super big pummeler means that we gain all those energy counters. So I think what we're going to do is just pass turn. We have Arc Bow next turn and we can discard our fling if we need to. But I think we want our fling. Oops. Yeah, so we're going to go to my turn. Double, double, 8, 33, rootbound Craig. I want to get him huge. I want to get him huge. So we could have kept up Rootbound Craig, but we're just going to pass the turn again. He's not playing any white, which usually doesn't have any board wipes. So my turn goes up to a 129. We get another arc bow, which we can use to get a Drizzit. Okay, please don't concede. I want to pull this off. So, there's really no need to pass the turn, but we're going to do it again. And hope he doesn't have a board wipe. We are going to arc bow this turn, though. So we're going to get the Drizzit on the battlefield, which you need to do anyways. If they have enchantment removal. Don't concede. Come on, opponent. Don't concede. I know you want to see what's going to go down. It's pretty sick. Okay. We'll... Activate it in response for five, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We might as well do ten. Just to make sure that we get. Discard the other Vivian's Arc Bow. And we get our Jersey. Sweet! So we're gonna get it off here. So we'll keep the Unsummoning Sickness one. Drizzit. And we get a 10 to Pest two! We're keeping that on top. All right, resolve. Pass to attackers. Just, just hang in there, opponent. We're so close. We're so close. Okay, my turn. Cool. Goes to a five thirteen. We throw it on Pima. We get 513 energy counters. Um, it doesn't matter anymore. I think we just win. So, 530. Okay. And then we electrostatic pummeler. Get him to 1026, 2052. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we pretty much could do this infinitely. Let's see how high we can get him. Only, okay. What is that, four million? I don't even know how high he is anymore. I just wanna see how high we can get him. <laughs> So yeah, his power is so big that I think it's actually going off the card now. So 
eventually it'll start timing us out, but we have four timeouts that... Yeah, and it just shows 0-0 zero, zero there. So now what we do is we're going to... Tend the pests. Auto pay. Him. Is it going to be 512? No! <laughs> it goes up to... What is that? I don't even know what that is. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's one billion. One billion, seventy three million, seven hundred forty one thousand, eight hundred and twenty three power. And then we create that many pests. So let it resolve. Probably. <laughs> it's going to break. Oh, and then we get all these screws. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Okay, we just fling at this point and call it good. Good game, opponent. <laughs> we fling them for one billion damage. <laughs> That's why I play Magic. That is why I play Magic. <laughs> we did it. Sweet.